So hi guys and uh, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a review on the uh, EcoFlow River Pro. Now this is the top end of the River series, um, the Pro version um, and with the 110 watt solar panel and there's the pack with all the cables and stuff in. So today we're going to do a bit of a review on that. These sort of things are absolutely ideal for camping, hiking, trekking, things like that. If you've got a base camp, you'll leave these charge up all day. And for the wildlife photographer, for me, um, is absolutely key, really. Obviously needing the sunlight to charge the, um, the actual unit itself, but it'll also run off um, DC, so it'll run off the car, and obviously it'll charge up through AC means as well from 240 volts. So three modes there. And the good thing about the uh, EcoFlow system that you can actually use third party solar panels as well in there. And it's got slots for two lots of charging. So therefore you can have multiple solar panels set up to allow you then to obviously charge that that much quicker. Okay, it's absolutely superb. So this can charge up to 80% in the first hour of charge and fully charged at 1.6 hours, which is phenomenal. Um, and it's the world's fastest charging solar generator. So absolutely superb. So that's 1.6 hours from AC means from flat zero to 100%. Eight hours through DC, so powering it by uh, through the vehicle, and six to 12 hours for a 160 watt solar panel, which is, you know, pretty good. Um, and it weighs 7.6 kilograms. So it's not horrendous. And it is, you know, I can lift it, lift it up there. It's a bit of weight to it. And the quality is phenomenal. It really is a superb unit. So what we're going to go into now is just going to go into a bit more about its statistics, really, what it's got, capacities, etc., things it can run. And um, yeah, we'll get into it. But um, I'm doing this today on the hottest day of the year. Uh, it's about 27 degrees today. Uh, we've got plenty of the sunlight there. So we've got plenty of juice. And also we'll go through um, and show you the app that comes with it through your phone. So Android, iPhone, all that sort of stuff. You've got the app to run the unit as well. So you can see the statistics. You can see the charging time, the usage, the output, um, and various bits and bobs on that as well. So just quickly, so to start off, there's the unit itself. Okay, got the light there, power on. Okay, the unit is on now. It's at 30%, so it's not fully charged. You've got a light there. You've got light on and off. That's IoT to reset. That's for the Wi-Fi and stuff to connect it through home. You've got a USB-C charger there. You've got two USB-A's there and a further fast charge there. Okay, and there you've got your DC. There we go, little plug there. And you've got two other smaller connectors as well for your DC. Okay, for the side here, you've got your two 240 volt three pin AC, and there's an expansion power port there, and that's to attach additional batteries to this unit. So they're smart batteries that you can attach to allow these units to then double the capacity. Okay, so I think it's something like, ooh, I think 1440. So, you know, double capacity of them, absolutely superb. So over here, you've got a little flap you lift up there, and you've got, um, your AC charging cable there, you've got there further, that's for your solar panel. Okay, and that one there is for power over, overload in the middle. And there we have it. So that's the uh, EcoFlow Pro, and that's the River Series. Okay, we're gonna break that down, get the solar panel out, get it connected up, and go from there. Okay guys, it's what's in the box. We're not doing actual open box, because there's not a lot of point. But here we can see what you've got for cables wise. We've got a user manual as standard, instructions there for connecting non-MC4 solar panels. So as I said, you can connect third party. Here we go. So there's your AC cable to power it through AC. Sorry, there's your solar panel cable and there's your power for your DC. So guys, here we are, very self-explanatory. And if you look at some pictures above, you'll see the connecting cables, where they connect and how they connect to the actual solar unit and to the actual um, generator as well. At the moment, I've got the, um, I've got the app running now at the moment. And if you zoom in on the screen, top left now, you should be able to see. And that what that shows you at the moment is that shows you the 
input at the moment from the power of the sun. At the moment, we're generating 82 watts um, through the, um, the four panels there. And um, that's generating, you know, a nice, a nice bit of um, energy there, then converting. And what it does, it tells you, it tells you temperature, it tells you the percentage of its charging. So we're currently at 30%. It's got an X boost there, it's got the light, it's got the 12 volt DC. It tells you exactly what it's drawing. So you've got USB-C, USB-A times two, and obviously the fast USB as well. And that will then tell you what that's drawing um, can, you know, effectively for what you've got on the inputs. The inputs drop now to 77 watts now. So 110 watt solar panel there. So we're a little bit shaded behind, but behind here we've got a load of trees. If I were to be out in the open, maybe play around with it a little bit more, get max, maximum effectiveness from the sun and the surface area of the solar panel, we'd probably get an awful lot more there. It's already charging up real quick. And as I said before, um, one times uh, 160 watt, it's between six and 12 hours. It's quite a range there, obviously. Effectively, if the sun is cloudless day, it's shining on there, you know, you're going to get it charged pretty damn quick. But obviously in between the sun and that, the clouds and stuff like that. But that's a rough um, estimation there of what, how long it would take. So effectively, you know, you could be out trekking most of the day, base camp, got all your kit, you're out for the day, you leave this in situ, leave it charged. When you're away and when you come back, you can draw the power, use it, charge batteries, you can use blenders, lights, fridges, you name it, this will power it. And it's also got an X-Boost high power rating, and that's 1800 watts. Um, if you look in the vlog description and also below on the screen throughout this uh, review, you'll get links to a lot more technical data on this, on this product, but it's absolutely superb. And as I said before, the River Pro is the top of the River series. And to have that additional, if you've got a couple more of these and you can use third party ones, absolutely ideal um, but yeah it's a great little package there and certainly the quality speaks for itself okay guys that pretty much concludes the uh, review of the um, EcoFlow River Pro and the 110 solar charging panel um, it's you know it is a great product to be honest it really is the quality is superb it really is quite small package it's nicely in a little um, a case there as well which keeps it all nice and neat and protected. And I will say as well that this is um, actually waterproof as well. So if you do get caught out and you're out all day and it does get caught in a shower, that's gonna help you out. And not all of these panels from different companies do actually provide one to be waterproof. So a really good added bonus and less of a worry when you're out in the field and you suddenly realize it's started to rain and your solar panel is gonna be knackered when you get back. So that's a really good plus point. Um, and just to run over again, so it's the world's fastest charging solar unit and solar generator at 1.6 hours, fully charged from zero AC means and the zero to 80% in just one hour. And that is fantastic and that's through AC. So that's from your home, home power. And when you're in the car, eight hours from DC, which is, which is also very good. And then six to 12 hours with a one times 160 watt solar, solar panel. Okay, it's got X boost as well, high power to 1800 watts as well. That's not to be sustained using that, but that's just for um, emergencies and when you need it. But it's also got power protection built in as well. Okay, you can use third party solar panels, which is really important if you want to get a few more and get more juice into that, into that battery a lot quicker. Okay, you've got the EcoFlow app that I said to you about, which I think is fantastic. You can literally monitor that when you're out. Okay, the USB port's there. It's got one fast, it's got the other USB, um, ports as well and the USB-C port which is key. Two ACs as well, you've got a, a light on the front as well just to help you out if you need it and that LCD's display on the front as well. 7.6 kilograms, so a bit of weight but certainly the quality is there and it's not horrendous, okay? But absolutely fantastic product from EcoFlow there. So please check out, um, there's links in my vlog description um, for all the EcoFlow products and I'd just like to have a big thanks and a big shout out to EcoFlow for sponsoring this video. This product is superb, it really is. I would not do any reviews, and many of you know me, that I only do reviews on products that I do believe will do the job and they are good quality. If I didn't, I wouldn't do it, simple as that. But this sort of thing for me, remotely, is absolutely superb and a massive game changer for me. And I will be doing a future video on this one in the field when I'm out remote on the Heath in the Landy 
overnight and I will be using um, this tech to, uh, to power, power all my kit. So my camera batteries, my vlogging camera batteries, my microphones, my mobile phone, my fridge, etc., etc. So we'll use that in the field, to see this kit work fully working. But uh, once again, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Mm -hmm.